Hi everyone, we are here today talking to the Queen of the North, Joanne Jobin, um, about the mining investment event in the North. We went to it uh, during the summer, it was quite a good one. Joanne, how are you? I'm very well, thank you Matt for asking. Glad to hear it. So, look, um, it's been we're four or five months since um, the, the conference um, happened. Um, how do you think it went? Well, you know, the consensus on the street seems to be that it was very successful and, dare I say, a hit. Thank God. We had some amazing feedback. The word is getting out that it's indeed a Tier 1 conference, you know, basically saying we put our money where our mouth was. And uh, most importantly, a great value for all the participants that were there. Yeah, it was, it was an extremely well-run conference. And given that you are going to be doing it again next year, um, give us some of the stats that you got from this year's conference. Gladly. Of course, you know, our inaugural event had 300 in-person participants, 80 in-person investors, 30 partners and sponsors, 50 presenting companies, uh, over 1,000 meetings booked by MeetMax, and 50-plus uh, global participants on our private streaming portal that we're going to really work on to get more participants on this year. All in all, not bad for our first event. From the response that we're getting already for next year, I expect the conference to grow by at least 20%. Okay, and as I say to CEOs when they make some wonderful announcements, I said, that's great, but that's also in the past. So uh, what next? So um, talk to me about uh, next year's conference. Okay, so same dates as this year, so June 19th to 21st. However, it will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as opposed to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And uh, I'm really happy to announce that the F1 Grand Prix has announced their dates, which is just before ours, which is the 16th through the 18th. The race will be held on the 18th. We're going to start on the 19th. So perfect timing for those Europeans who want to come over and do the Grand Prix and the conference. And yes, we have begun to market and invitations for all companies invited last year have gone out. And of course, new companies uh, invitations have gone out. So here's where we are. Most, almost all of our sponsors are back, including new ones such as Castles, Infor Financial and Maple Gold. A few of the sponsors have moved from silver class to gold, so we're excited about that. And we're also in discussions with some senior sponsors, and I'll have some news on that very soon. I can also say that through my past discussions with the Quebec government, they are once again committed to returning for 23, and we're in continuing discussions with them now. The confirmed companies are on the website, and so far we have 32 which at le with at least 10 more coming on, all of our tier two slots are sold out and that's, that means non-presenting companies. And this year we'll have 65 speaking slots with nine panels and keynotes. So we're well on our way to being sold out. We'll be doing a press release soon announcing all of this, by the way. Okay, well, actually just t talk to me about these um, tiers. What, what's, what's this tier one, tier two, tier three stuff? Okay, so this is part of our overreaching strategy of being exclusive but inclusive. We started creating these tiers last year, so let me break it down for you. Tier one, these are presenting companies that have all the bells and whistles uh, associated with the, con uh, with the conference, and they're typically $50 million market cap and up. Tier two, these are non-presenting companies, so they get all the benefits of a tier one, they just don't present. And their market cap range is between 50 to 15 million. Again, these are now sold out. Tier three, this is what we created this year for the junior exploration companies, or as I call them, industry adjacent companies. This is where I think we really make a difference for small juniors who are too small in terms of market cap, but still want to be there to network. This allows for two badge delegates, discounted hotel rates at the Chateau Frontenac, meals, networking events, an intro video to the company, and entrance to all participation or to all presentations. As well, we have on a first come, first serve basis a seat at the Explorco Lounge where you can host your own meetings. So I think that's a really good value for those. Yeah, it was. Look, and, and I was there. It was an extremely well-run conference, one of, one of the best I've, I, I've been to. But were the lessons to be learned, and how's it going to improve this year? 
So great question, Matt. Again, let me reiterate that we are a tier one conference hosting, uh, focused on being exclusive, but inclusive. And we are extremely well priced in Canadian dollars for the issuers. And as last year was our inaugural event, we knew that we were still in a development phase and that there were improvements to be made, which we're working on for year two. And we're committed to making the event a Canadian institution. So let's talk about it. First of all, again, we are commodity agnostic. We feature all commodities. We're not the Denver Gold Forum. We're not the Precious Metals uh, Summit. We are the mining event, and we will really be leaning into critical metals next year, which is also the government of Quebec's focus. We have some exciting critical metals panels that, that we are developing for next year and will be announcing soon. We've expanded to three full days, commencing on Monday through Wednesday. Again, I can't stress this enough. We continue to be the best value out there. Tier one presenting companies are, you know, have a ticket of 12,500 Canadian and deep discounted prices for Chateau Frontenac. I'm not going to talk about the comparative prices of going to other conferences. The issuers know what I'm talking about. Full translation will be featured this year, French to English and vice versa. The green carpet free interviews for participating companies with up to five groups this year, BTV, VID, Mining Network, the Martin Ellis Report, and Kiko. They're all returning. And again, a great value worth around 10K if you take advantage of all these interviews. And still with one main stage, no competing tracks, which we are planning to make major improvements on the staging this year. Hang on, it's going to be really cool. And we have four industry kiosks, which are now sold out. And we have dedicated one-on-one -on -one rooms for Tier 1 and Tier 2 companies. I don't see anyone else doing that. Tier 3s, again, well-priced for company inclusion. And this year, we are allowing companies to meet directly with other companies via MeetMax. We're here to, to facilitate meetings, not block them. And what's the point? The issuers are only going to meet with them off calendar anyway. So why don't we facilitate those meetings for them? We also have a plus one partner program. For those who want to bring their partners and spouses, we'll have a great program for them. And they'll also be badged so they can be part of the event. We're also going to invite 50 accredited investors. They won't have access to one-on-ones, but they will be badged and they'll be invited to engage with the audience and to network. And now let me talk to you about something that I am super excited about. Maple Gold Mines has undertaken the student sponsorship. This is an important, really important gold sponsorship. This means that we will be inviting up to 50 mining, engineering, finance, and environmental sciences students to the event. They will be recruited from local universities uh, in Quebec and Ontario and they'll be hosted overnight at uh, be hosted and overnighted at the event for the three full days. Maple Gold Mines will host a dinner, meet and greet, where they'll be able to meet with the exec team, and they'll be able to ask questions about the industry. They'll be seated in the audience. They'll ask questions of the presenting companies. They'll be invited to networking events. They'll also have an opportunity to post their resume on the website. It's not a recruitment gig. Let me be really clear about that but I'm happy to give them an opportunity to post their resumes for interested parties. It's very, very important to the mining industry and brings education to the forefront for the next generation of mining. And of course, introduces mining to a younger audience. I love that. I love that a lot. That's a really wonderful um, initiative. And yeah, thank you to Maple Goldmines and yourself for doing that. Um, but look, before we wrap it up, it, it's, it's hard not to look outside the window and go, the economy seems to be tanking, people are nervous, it's risk off environment. I mean, how, do you, how does that make you feel about putting on an event next year? Well, let me tell you about my theory on why this will not be problematic for us at this time. And I don't mean to be uh, flip about it. I'm very concerned, of course, about the economy like everyone else. But again, we are well priced, so we want people to come. And with where we are right now, I can say that I truly believe we will succeed in being a bigger and better event for 23. Again, we are commodity agnostic with a focus on critical metals 
and critical metal security, which last time I checked was a pretty hot topic. We're also, we also started to campaign really early so that we would be included in people's budgets for 23. And we have a very value oriented event. So I think that people know that and they are coming out to support a Canadian product that's a world-class event. Most importantly, we won't be fighting PDAC and God willing COVID this year or next year and a host of other things that plagued us last year. So even though we had a pretty big headwind last year, we still succeeded in spite of everything. So I think that bodes really well for us. So that's where we are right now. Um, of course, I'll be in London next month for one-to-one -one on Minds and Money. So Matt, we're going out for dinner. Dinner's on me. Yippee. Uh, I'll also be speaking. <laughs> I'll also be speaking with lots of investors about the event. And we're working on a very strong investor outreach this year with our sponsors and issuers, as well as some other outreach that we're going to be rolling out. So lots more news to come. And I'll say in closing that we are extremely excited and pleased as to where we are right now with the event. And thank you, Matt, for your continued support. We look forward to you and your fireside chats next year with some great companies.